Hello everyone, welcome to the United Way football fans, Manchester United fan. I'm Rob Dukan, breaking news. Yeah, I mean, it's David Austin who came out with the breaking news that uh, Kieran McKinnon uh, is going to sign a long-term contract for Ipswich, you know. So um, I, got, I got this news, I think something like an hour ago, and uh, I thought, okay, David Austin, I want to wait for Fabrizio Romano. I, I mean, both of them are one of the best, and Fabrizio Romano has confirmed, and I said I should share this with you guys, that Kevin, uh, K Kieran McKinnon uh, said to reject an approach from uh, Brighton and stay at Ipswich Town for next season. Kieran McKinnon also ready to sign a new long-term uh, deal <clears throat> at the club. To, uh, to end the speculation, uh, that's he he reiterated uh, reiterated what David Onstein has just said. So, what is your view about that? Kira McKinnon will not be the Manchester United manager next season, and that makes that makes us, uh, you know, United fans, those of those of you, you and I, who think a lot about the club, uh, a bit relaxed, uh, who want Eric Tenag to stay, basically uh, to relax and saying, okay, yes, this might be a move to show Eric Tenag is going to be our manager next season. He's going to stay at Manchester. United is not done yet, but I think it is a slightly 55% show of um, for Eric Tenak to stay because, as you guys know, the review is uh, is over. The noise which is coming out uh, from uh, United camp is that in the next couple of days, this week, you know, there is a bank holiday in the UK today, and that they will be uh, uh, there will be. Uh, they will put this to, uh, to ground, right? Uh, they will come out clear. When I mean they, I mean the Enos, those who are in charge of the, of the sporting events, in sporting issues in regards to Manchester United. They are going to announce um, uh, the future of Manchester United, hence the future of the manager. Are they going to sack? I am thinking that if today comes to an end and they... There are no other breaking news, then it means Eric Tenak is going to stay. Don't forget, Eric Tenak is on holidays, right? He is on holidays. He has done what he has to do. The way football, I mean, I played football in a very low level, but yeah, but I know what I'm talking about because I work also with transfer uh, folks in uh, hockey, international hockey, and, and it's kind of like football. What, the last day of play, I mean, players just fly to their holiday destination because most of them barely have two weeks of holidays. You know, uh, sometime even one week, 10 days. But uh, yeah, so uh, I, uh, Eric Tenak, the news here is Eric Tenak, uh, uh, so decision has not been made, but it seems as if because uh, Kieran McKinnon is going to stay with Ipswich, this has one of the signs that shows that Manchester United might move on with Eric Tenak because actually he does have one more year contract with United. Most of the fans, you, most of you, we have done... Um, our, our, our polling here in, every, in the past weeks and most of you want him to stay. Guys, please make sure you click a like on the video. Thanks for all of you liking the video. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing a lot of breaking news here, live uh, information in regards to Eric Tenak. So stay tuned if you want to uh, get the news. We are... Uh, Guys, we're a small community, but we know with you guys, we can go somewhere. So help us uh, um, uh, move forward. We wanted to hit 10K. Maybe you can help us hit that before the season kicks off. That would be fantastic. So who is Kieran Mc uh, McKinnon? K uh, Kieran McKinnon used to be a manager for Manchester United, not in the senior team. He worked as a, a coach in the club with under Jose Mourinho. He also worked with, um, with Carrick. Uh, and uh, he somehow understands Manchester United. He's loved by the Manchester United fan base because we know him and uh, he's done so well with Ipswich, uh, brought them to two divisions in two years. That is massive. He's, he's the Eric Tenak of the, of the championship, you know, uh, doing uh, in terms of his uh, uh, success from year to year. He is a young guy, but I think bringing him to Manchester United now, it is uh, it will be a massive, massive error. We saw what happened with Campani. I mean, the Premier League is different. I can tell um, all of you who are crazy also about Eric Tenak is. He is still also learning the Premier League. I know he has seen his mistakes, you know. The Premier League is the most competitive league in the world. You cannot just come in and start, you know, uh, imposing. If you're a good manager, I think in the second... I, I mean, if you look behind, look at Guardiola, who came to City with Piro there, his first season. I mean, it was just very quiet. Most thought that he was going to be a failure. Eric Tenag needs support. I have said this several times, that the board just needs to support Eric Tenag full stop. And everything will be fine. If we can support Eric Tenag going forward, I think Eric Tenag, we are uh, united, the community, we can, um, the fans, the worldwide fans, we can do something very great this season. So tell me what you think about this news. The situation here is, you know, 
the uh you know um Mourinho, Mauricio Pochettino was sacked by Chelsea and uh he also wanted the United job he's open to the job but th- but why should we go for Mauricio, Mauricio Pochettino when two years ago you guys made the United board to sign Eric Tegnac why should we go for Mauricio Pochettino when he hasn't won anything with a team that has more resources than us and Ten Hag is, I mean, Ten Hag has done all type of tactics with Manchester United with his hands tied behind. In January, we went through January without a transfer. Manchester United didn't have a transfer. Don't forget about these guys. You're human. Uh, and uh, Ten Hag brought someone like Sofrim Omrabat who sacrificed his Manchester United career by accepting to play as a left back. That is why I'm going to do a video here with this Antonio, the Antonio guy, the Brazilian. I don't want to say, I don't want to use a hard word on him, but I think he's one of those players that those fraudulent players that uh, have helped to nar- uh, to push that narrative that Eric Tenag is a bad manager. One of you here, a certain Tunde, who is a subscriber here, came out and said he doesn't like the Eric Tenag recruits. I mean, I mean, when everybody talk about recruitment with Ten Hag, he, they go straight to a hundred million flop. You know that as you cannot that Brazilian guy. I mean, nobody would just go closer to that player, that Anthony. I think he was such a bad. It was such a ba- a mistake, which I think Tenag will and has a uh, has and will accept. We need to sell him because um, uh, that is uh, my point in regards to that. Yeah, the other guy who was in, who is, is uh, in the uh, the light for, for to be maybe Manchester United uh, manager is um, uh, Toshel, right? Toshel, Thomas Toshel, previous Bayern Munich, Chelsea, PSG, or PSG manager. The thing with Tuchel is Tuchel has uh, an attitude where he's a two-year manager. I mean, if United want to be that type of team, okay, fine, then that let them do it. But I think Tuchel, 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 Tuchel Thomas Tuchel, 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 Mo, Thomas Tuchel has. He won't stay long. He won't even be. He won't. Let me just put this thing clear. Let me just come make it in a very clear way. If Thomas Tuchel was in the position where Eric Tenag well, he would have insulted even many journalists he would have been very aggressive he would have been even hard with the board he would have made his mind very clear he's someone with a massive ego i cannot remember since barack obama since barack obama president former president of manchester united someone who has been calm under massive pressure like eric tenak i mean i just can't Eric Tenak, after the game, even after winning a trophy, I don't know if you guys watched it, BBC, you had Gary Lineker, who struggled asked Eric Tenak a question about his future. Who, who was, I mean, you know, with BBC, you're, you had, you're told what to say. I mean, he had to do it. He knew he was comfortable. comfortable. Eric Tenak approached in a very mature way. Then you have the attacker, uh, the former attacker, Alain Shira, also hitting hard on Eric Tenak. These are people who cannot even shout on their, I won't say it, but... Uh, Eric Tenak still did reply in a very calm way. He went back and the post-match uh, interview Eric Tenak, the same thing. Journalists were all over the place about his future where Eric Tenak, there are videos out there seeing this man really standing to, uh, against the waves, you know, the waves of the media and say, should I repeat this over and over again? And they was really insisting that Eric Tenak should, uh, Eric Tenak said, Eric Tenak told them that the, the the, I mean, the owners, the Enos, have told them they want to work with him. They were trying to know when did they tell him? Is it two months ago? Is it five months ago? Is it, is it yesterday? And Eric Tenag said, why should that should they be telling me always? That's a very interesting video. If you have time, you go and watch it, guys. So this is the news here. Eric Tenag, I think he's fifty, not fifty-five percent sure. At this point, I think I'm fifty-five percent sure that Eric Tenag will stay as Max coach of Manchester United. It's a daily thing. It's a daily worries for those of us who are invested into this Manchester United project of Eric Tenag and who love the club and who who has looked. I mean, we, I, I can say we. I mean, people who think the way I think, people who are Eric Tenag in, and people who understand that Eric Tenag has been a manager with his hands tied behind. People who know all this, they think Eric Tenag deserve another year and. I said this in the beginning of the season. If you watch our, our contents here, guys, please don't forget. Please make sure to click a like on this video and subscribe. We'll be doing a lot of videos. If you watch our contents here, I have said this several times that you know what? From next season, the first five matches, first five, the ten matches, 
I would be very hard on Ten Hag if he doesn't correct the mistakes, which means he needs to bring the players that he wants. Maybe not the top, top, top players, but we need we need uh, uh, strength in depth in Manchester United. We, there are times where we, I mean, we, we, we didn't even we, we, we as I just said that earlier that there are times where we had to use players playing out of position because we don't have double good players in the same position. So, uh, uh, guys, uh, I I just wanted to keep it short, but I said this is breaking news for the, if you just came in and watched this video now. Uh, David Austin has said Kerry McKinnon will sign, will stay at Ipswich for Premier League. Fantastic idea, I think it's good. He's a young coach. He will learn, he will grow, and uh, if he can, if he can, just imagine he keeps Ipswich up. I'm sure that other Premier League teams will want to but sign him. It gives him that confidence and that personality moving on as a career, a young manager. And Fabrizio Romano has confirmed anyway, uh, that this is what is going on. I always like to listen from Fabrizio Romano because he doesn't play the emotional game. He's very neutral. He, he, uh, I, I mean, I love Rov Romano listening to him. Um, and guys, if you want to get interview from Romano, please make sure you subscribe. We want to hit just 10,000 subscribers and this, fan, uh, this channel will change just drastically. We need sub. We need sponsors in what we do. If we don't have sponsors, it is very complicated. So please help us go there. The aim of this channel was to help the forgotten United fan, not the luxury United fans who have all the tickets and going every day. It's for you guys who sit, who walk kilometers to watch United, who love United in your heart, who can't even contribute financially, but want to have a voice. This is why we build this channel. So it's something a bit different from what you guys might be seeing in the platform. Anyway, guys, great speaking to you. Very short show, but I love it. And I'm happy. I am now 55% Tenak, sure that he's going to stay. With that said, guys, Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.